no more P Hub going on in Texas. My co-host cried that day. I really did. I sent it out. I sent it. I sent it out on my Facebook story, my Instagram story. I had to let the people know. You got a VPN already? I'm trying to. Somebody said you had to pay for it. Is it really like? Yeah, you have to pay for it. I'm not paying five dollars to watch them for free. I can it's go. Like, it's like three or five dollars a month. No, but what's also cool about it, besides just getting be able to have, get access back to this website, is if you have any streaming services, you can uh, put your GPS wherever you want in the world, and mm. you get different options. Like you can see, like what does Netflix Japan have? What does Netflix England have? And all of them have uh, different libraries, so you get way more access to stuff. And apparently, there's a lot of good Dragon Ball Z content mm, on Netflix Japan. That's we cr- don't even have that on Netflix. That's crazy. But eight, the seven, more you know, seven to eight states have already started this uh, this age verification law where they're banning P Hub and other things that's basically not appropriate for kids to watch around around the world now a lot of people are upset about this they're saying it's not fair uh how are you over here how are you trying to Some protect kids protect kids but at the same time the adults are being affected by this and the government's basically saying this is y'all fault the adults gonna get no stress relief basically this is y'all fault y'all would y'all don't want to take care of y'all kids instead of telling y'all kids to sit down and read a book and eat an apple y'all just want to give them an ipad or oh, give them your cell phone they're looking like, at some peaches Exactly. Peaches and cream. Y'all want to give them your iPhone, tell them to get it out your face, and this is what happens. Well, I mean, that's what I was talking about. Like, it's crazy. Like, we, we, people our age didn't get smartphones literally until, like, I mean, depending if you're a little bit younger, you might have got it, like, you're, you know, very late in high school, like, junior, senior year. But, like, I, I got a smartphone, like, literally coming right out of high school. Ouch. Like, right after I graduated high school, I got, like, I think it was, like, an iPhone 4. That's when, like, smartphones became more affordable for regular people. And, like, I got an iPhone uh, 4, and mm-hmm. then, like, shortly after that, uh, Instagram came out. So, literally, we were, like, the first people ever to go to college with Instagram. So, you know, it's, it's crazy. We're, we're going to go down in the uh, history books like that. But, yeah, this is uh, a little weird. I think they're overstepping. But, you know, also, it's common now for kids as young as elementary uh, you know, school to have their own smartphone. So, I don't know if there's any parental controls where you can maybe, like, not have like internet browser available. You already have that on phones. If you go to settings and go to setting your parental uh, your parental settings on your thing. I know that can do Apple. it for like screen time and stuff, but can it literally censor what you check on on the internet? Yeah, it can censor what you check on the internet. Well, then why do they need this? It doesn't make because sense. kids parents aren't doing it. They're not doing it. Well, the, I mean, it's it's like did you basically know, we're they're trying to pick up because we have so many bad parents this current generation. So that's what like the, the last two three generations. That's what the that's what people allege that the government is trying to do. A lot of the people, other people <clears> say <throat> that they're just trying to censor. They're trying to censor uh, people because they don't want the LGBT stuff to come out. So they're trying to censor that. Also, Texas is using that as an excuse. Yeah, exactly. And also, okay. I mean, you did you know it? that United States watches uh, watches P three times as much more than any other uh, any other nation? So that's I mean, just yeah, hard because it's itself. outlawed in a lot of other countries. They don't allow it like that because it's bad for your brain. They say it's bad for your brain. It basically d- diminishes your. Um, it enhances your dopamine in your brain, and then you basically basically throws off all logic. People don't know how to love right, and I understand what they're saying. How you don't want kids watching stuff like this, and uh, they're thinking like this is how love making is. This is how adults show oh, this. That ain't love making on there. <laughs> I mean, but kids That's don't know that, and a lot of parents aren't even telling the birds and the bees story. I mean, I know a couple people that never heard the birds and the bees story. You know, it's 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 man out there still trying to figure it out. Six pounds, seven I, ounce. I got four of them already, man. I'm still wondering how, how come the store keep coming over. Wait, you have four kids? Shh. Hey, man. See, what had happened was not. Nah, that's why you moved states. <laughs> no, I'm playing. The Great Escape. No, nah, it's not the Great Escape. But people, people <clears throat> were saying since, since this has gone down, the VPN search has went up uh, basically one what thousand seventy five percent. So everybody's looking for a VPN and so, try to find point P Hub and. That's the funny part is I didn't even know that other sites. I thought other, all other sites were banned too because I think I went to like two or three other sites. You were checking all your favorite sites. I checked all my favorite sites and all my favorite sites were banned. So I thought all of them were banned until one of my homeboys came over and was like, "Oh yeah, did you hear about this such and such site?" And I looked and I put it up and I was like, "Oh wow, it works right." They're here. gonna get to him. I'm over here stressing like it's gonna be the end of the world. Like what I'm gonna do with the rest? Of my- I got all this free time now. Why do I need my hands? You need to give Pamela Anderson Henderson. A break. Listen, man, we on overtime, man. What does that even mean? <laughs> I'm working. I'm working like a slave. It's hold 1967 on, again. Hold on, hold on. How is it racist in my own hand? <laughs>
<laughs> That's never mind. Disrespectful. But nah, so let me see. The other states actually has this law already in you effect. You pop up like, damn, son, where'd you find this? <laughs> the other states that also have this law banned is uh, Arkansas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Montana, <laughs> North Carolina, Utah, Virginia. God and dang, that's, that's a growing list. It's a grown list. I mean, it's growing further and further. I mean, a lot more things are getting banned. They're trying to I censor mean, the internet. How do you? Because I mean, the internet's like the wild west, and you have kids as young as elementary school having their own smartphones with parents never turning on the parental guidance. True. So it's like you got kids in elementary school like going off, going crazy. I could, I could only imagine what the kids that I went to school with in elementary school would have done if they had smartphones and access to it. We're like. Let's just pull up anything we want on the playground. See, but yeah, but back in the day, at our age, they had uh, they had like different <clears> types <throat> of magazines. You can you can uh, you can buy. Yeah, but, you but have to I be mean, certain that's age. one thing. It's like you gotta you gotta hide a magazine. You ain't gotta hide a phone. I mean, but you gotta buy the magazine first. You know, harder to get the magazine because the magazines. Are, are, are the big age. A, yeah, so I'm saying it's it was like, way harder back then. Yeah, it's like now, basically, like a kid would be like, oh, what are you showing your friend? They're like, oh, a uh, Pokemon video. And basically, they can't say anything. You know, you just make sure you're facing away from the teacher. You could be watching literally the, the nastiest stuff ever, True. like the Pain Olympics or something. True, and I mean, I do know kid. I know people that's been having cell phones. Like I know some people, <clears throat> some of my friends had cell phones when they was in the fifth grade, the sixth sixth grade. I think I didn't get the cell phone. I had a flip phone in seventh grade, but that don't count. I I got my first phone in middle school. It was a flip phone, uh, non-color screen. You know, it was like when your screen was just like one bright color. It was like orange or green or something. Mm -hmm. uh, I had that. And uh, I think texting was something like 10 cents a text or something. So no one really texted. <laughs> oh, uh, back they, in the day? They wasn't even like free texting on the weekends yet. That's so when like no one texted, but uh, uh, people still had like free nights and weekends uh, with their phones. But yeah. But yeah, uh, everyone think of, had a cell phone. But by think the time about I was it. In middle at the, school. At the, think about it. Around that point in time, when you talk, a lot of so people did more interaction. So you, a lot of people went outside more. Oh, people yeah. were more active. Look at it now. They're saying that uh, watching a lot of pee brings depression. So they're saying people uh, nowadays at this time, in 2024, are more depressed. They're just sitting in they're isolation, more, yank, crank yanking all day. Crank yanking all day. People don't know how to talk to other people anymore. Dating is basically uh, basically. On online, the internet, only, only. online only. You know what's meeting. I mean, you know what's really. I mean, some people still meet people face to face, but it's mainly online, and that's what people are having these all these yeah, bad days because the first time they actually interacting with somebody is basically on, uh, basically online, and that's never good because you never know the real person. They can fake it up the whole time. Then by the time you see them, you're being catfish. Even like that girl, you, you seen a person that got catfish said it was bow wow. Said they were Bow Wow? No, yes. Somebody on the show Catfish or MTV Catfish. Oh, yeah, yeah. The girl, they tricked that lady. She was like, oh, yeah, wow. I'm dating Bow Wow. I'm dating Bow Wow. And then, like, she would be like, oh, Bow Wow would be like, hey, I need, like, five grand. And like, they froze my accounts, and I'm, like, stuck in another country. And she's like, I got you, boo. And send him five grand. Still, I, never, I still never understood a, a point. <clears throat> How do you get Catfish? Like, if some, if you talking to somebody for six, seven it's, months, and I was asking them to FaceTime you, dude, and they always got an excuse. Every time I've seen it on TV, besides, like, a couple of cases where you're like, those people are just straight idiots, it's, like, it, it's old people. So it's old people, like, that don't understand the internet at all. Like, and that's basic, also true. That's what they're saying, too, about the situation. Kids. Most, most people that are, like, I don't know. I would say 40 and up. Yeah. Because there's some people that were a little bit in the tech that were older. But, like, 40 and up, most people, like, they don't know about the internet or nothing. Uh -huh. And they're all weird on Facebook. I remember there was this, like, this old man neighbor that we knew. And, like, he got on Facebook finally. And he started liking, like, all this international stuff that's on this website. Uh -huh. And he would, like, see it because he didn't have his <laughs> stuff, like, private. So, you're like, Mr. Mike, like, this freak nasty picture. I'll go around the hall and mess up. Every time the kids see their phone, yeah. mm, they looking at nasty things. But that's also another thing that, uh, that the government is saying, that parents aren't as smart as the kids because nowadays kids are just born and just have the internet. They have to look at work the internet backwards and forwards. But some adults, I get some people that call me and they don't even know how to work the internet still. I'm like, it's 2024. How you still don't know how to work the email? I remember one time I was working this like uh, corporate job years ago. And uh, I had a manager that was, like, making a presentation. Mm -hmm. And I showed her, like, how to, like, just do, like, very simple, basic stuff on PowerPoint. And she was like, did you go to schooling for this? Like, what university did you learn this at? And I was like, like, elementary school? <laughs> yeah. I was like, I've been using PowerPoint since, like, elementary, middle school. Like, what are you talking about? She's like, I'm so bad at using this program. <laughs> And that goes to show you that I mean that's why the government had to step in saying the parents ain't doing their job. So the they don't government... know what they're doing. 
So it's kind of, yeah. I mean, a lot of parents, I mean, now it's getting to the point where like everyone's like been like most people that are our age are parents. So they were kind of like, know what's up with technology and know how to work it because they're like still in like school when it came out. So it's like, there's no excuse now, but there was definitely an excuse for like the few generations where like the parents like didn't know what's going on. So like the kids are unhinged in this like universe with like nothing holding them back. Like, um, uh, Who's who's an old who's an old celebrity that just had a kid, Robert Downey Jr. Not Robert. <laughs> Robert Downey's not that old. Who's the name? Who's the old the old uh, man that just had a kid? The the kid with the young lady. He's like 60, 80 years old. Uh, Danny DeVito. <laughs> no, uh, it's like one of those old mafia dudes. Mm. I forget. Uh, God dang! I thought it was Robert. Oh, see, you forget, forget his name. Uh, but enough about it. No, dang it. You always make me do this on the show. <laughs> like I can remember most facts and then you just try to pull it something random and I'm like, I don't Comment know down below who's the old who's the old actor that this just Is it the dude from like uh what's it called? Meet the Meet the Fockers? Yes. What the what the hell is his name? Oh, let me see. Pull it up. Was it, no, it wasn't him, was it? Was it him? I be mean, getting people mixed up, man. I forget. But it was like one of those old like soprano type actors that was in like The Godfather, uh, I believe. It might I might have been mixing mix, uh, mixing people up. Robert De Niro. Robert not De Niro. Jr. That's what it is. Yeah, it goes Robert De Niro. Was it Robert De Niro that did it? Yeah, Robert yeah, De Niro's like seventy is... something, and he has like a thirty year old uh, pregnant lady. Yeah, pretty much. It's crazy. See. Hey, if we're, he's a parent, uh, he's a parent. Doesn't matter with the internet. If we become like uh, like Joe Rogan level celebrities on podcasting, are you try, Are you gonna just keep on uh, having kids with thirty year olds when you're eighty? Twenty five. You're gonna be like DiCaprio. Of course, even man. worse. <laughs> if you're watching this on TFTC clips. Go to Tales from the Crib to watch it in full 1080p and get the uh, full video uh, right away quicker. And if you're ready to know about which uh, which <clears throat> rap which cel- 